Here we are at Ross Goldberg's event, and I have Brian Kasabaki here, and he's going to talk about outsourcing. So what is outsourcing? Uh, it's basically where you do less work yourself and have other people do it for you, which is always good. You have more time to do what you want. You have more time to get more stuff done, and obviously that equates to more money. Okay. Uh, what works well for outsourcing? Like, What types of jobs should people be doing? Almost anything you can uh, think of. I'm... Grunt work is probably one of the harder things to actually outsource to for, well, for free, I'd say. Um, you know, you, can, you have to pay people to do grunt work. I basically specialize in outsourcing where I don't have to pay people a flat fee. Mm. I give them a small cut, so I can basically have a zero budget and get, you know, 10, 15 projects done in one to two months without having any out-of-pocket costs there. Um, the, the types that I think most people should outsource are things like programming, unless you're a programmer, of, of, of course. I don't know anything about that, so I have a couple programs for that. Um, website, uh, website graphic guys and designers and so forth, I outsource all of that. I can do some myself, but I'm crappy compared to these guys. Um, writers, you know, I like writing most of my own guides, but you know, sometimes you have to have people write some smaller guides for you, get more get more work done. It's not like you can come out with ten new guides yeah. each month unless you have someone there doing it for you. But mostly I'd say for most people it's programmers and um, website guys that you have to outsource a lot to, to 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 get a lot done. And to make it look nicer too. Okay, and you were talking like a percentage, like when you make a sale, you'll give them like five percent or something. Um, yeah, I mean it, it varies from project to project. It also varies on how skilled the actual worker is. Like s some of the programmers I have working for me came from jobs where they made over a hundred thousand each year. Um, so with those guys, I have to treat them extra special. Um, I can't just you know like I have programmers that sometimes I'll pay out of pocket. I'll pay them fifty to a hundred bucks to to do you know, several hours of, of work and that's fine. Um, with these top-notch guys, you really can't do that because 50 bucks isn't worth their, their, their time. Um, you have to build relationships with them and then, you know, offer them a decent cut. You don't have to, I mean, you don't have to have an astounding, like, 50% cut or anything. Um, but, I mean, anywhere from, like, a 10 to 25% cut, most of them are more than happy. And keep in mind that you're not actually doing anything yourself. <laughs> all you are is basically marketing it. They're doing all the grunt work and you're getting you know most of the cut anyway even yep. if, even if they get a full 25 percent or even 50 percent you know you're still making money without doing any work which is the whole point of outsourcing so you just like come up with an idea maybe outline it what, what i basically do like um you know i have a list of programmers i have probably two or three ones that i'm really close with that are probably the best ones in, in the field um if i have like a really top-notch um, I, idea out there. I'll talk just to, to them. I'll call up one. I'll have a meeting with them. Two of these three guys actually live in the same hometown as, as, as me. Um, you know, I'll tell them, this is what I'm trying to do. What's the best way to actually do this? And most importantly, can you easily do this? Okay. Um, in most cases, it's yes. It might not work out exactly the way that I envisioned it, because you know, I'm not a programmer. I don't know how that stuff works. But they tend to get the job done. With smaller projects, um, like ones I, I don't care a whole lot about, but are a nice little side side income, you know, I'll um, basically have a idea, mail it out to a list of like maybe, you know, 15, 20 guys I have that I outsource to now and then, and say, hey, do any of you think you can do this? If so, how hard do you do you think it is? Um, are there any extra features you think you can add to it? Um, and I, I I do think that's very important too. You you do want to get the programmers involved in the stuff themselves, because these guys come from the jobs where, you know, they sometimes have to program things that they know aren't ideal and won't work well, and the job doesn't allow them to give any input in it. Mm -hmm. Whereas if they're allowed to actually be a part of the, the product, not only will they program better, at the, at the end of the day, they'll be happier, and you'll have a better product, which hopefully will make more money for you and them too. So they kind of feel like they own a part yeah, of it. Yeah, I mean, some some you, you can hire flat out for fifty to a hundred dollars for you know a few hours of work and are perfectly happy with, with that, um, but for like the the larger projects you know even like a five a five percent cut 
It's just something where it's not costing you too much, but it makes them feel like they're a part of it, and they'll work a lot harder for you. Okay, and then you focus all your time on marketing? Yeah, I, I had more time to focus on marketing. Um, my favorite thing, I, I focus a lot on coming up with new concepts and new programs to, to make and stuff. Like, uh, recently, I, you know, I plan on writing a few blog, uh, blog entries. I wanted to prove that anyone can basically outsource on a zero budget. Um, I uh, came up with the concept of, gee, it'd be kind of nice if someone was able to convert JavaScript to H HTML, mm -hmm. which I think I gave you a free copy of that. Um, now, I didn't plan on making this a popular product. I didn't plan on having like a huge network of affiliates or anything. I just wanted to show that with a little work, with maybe a half hour of work, you can make at least a couple thousand dollars off it. What I did, I found a programmer, not one of my normal guys. I found him, just put a free classified ad up, got him with, with, within a day, said, hey, can, can you do this? He wrote back, sure. Within 20 minutes, he had the program done. Wow. I had... And, you know, I could have hired, that. this is where I'd, I'd normally get my website guy to make a website for it. But I just wanted to prove that, you know, you can do this with no money. So I made a crappy web page myself for it. Got the sales page up in a half hour. Again, nothing fancy. I, you know, could have done a lot more to it. Um, started marketing that, sold it to a few people, showed it to a couple names who, you know, I, I knew would find it useful and get some word out. Uh, within probably I'd say about two months, it probably has made close to five figures. Nice. Um, that's, keep, keep in mind this project that took the program less than 20 minutes, me less than a half hour of actually writing the sales page, and less than a half hour of talking to a few other people in the industry. And to this day, it still makes sales each and every day. And that's just a simple concept where I didn't do anything with it, outsourced almost the entire, the entire project. And so, I mean, I, I just want to basically prove that you can outsource regardless of who you are. You don't have to pay $5,000 to have a simple script made. Um, I know a, a lot of marketers out there try to act like, you know, you have to pay $100,000 to have this made or that made. You really don't. I mean, I've, I have top-of-the-line programs made that cost me nothing. I have an uh, email program that's currently being, being worked on where it basically eliminates your stuff going to s s spam, spam boxes. Um, it's a huge br breakthrough. It could easily, um, you know, I, I could easily have paid someone fifty thousand dollars to actually make that. Instead, I paid them nothing. Just nice. said, "Hey, I'll give you a twenty percent cut or so." Done. Great. Could could you also throw in these extra features? Sure. Sounds like a really powerful way to get work done. Oh, it's it's incredibly powerful. And over time, you can build up a network of these people. Um, I probably have, you know, again, I said I have two or three close. Programmers, two of those live in the same hometown. But I also have, you know, I've made deals with firms overseas, um, India, Bangladesh, um, you name it. I have guys all over that you know are willing to actually work on this stuff. And then, you know, it's, it's, it's not just a lot of people say you have to outsource overseas. And I, I just want to clarify quick. That's actually not true. Um, a lot of my guys in in and around, you know, Wisconsin, the state I'm from, and so forth are actually the same price, if not cheaper, than the, than the guys overseas. Again, programmers want to program. A lot of these guys, you know, don't necessarily have huge high-paying jobs. Again, I, you know, I do have some that do make a lot because they are good, but I have a lot that are decent and are just looking to make a little side, side income. And if I say, hey, look, if you make this, I'll cut you in, I'll cut you in on a percent. And on top of that, you can work from your own home whenever you want. Um, you can take whatever projects you, you want, you know, rush. They're really happy to actually do it because it's a nice way to get extra money in. And then over time, you can build up a network of 20, 30 programmers you can go to whenever you want. Writers, the same way. You can contact them and be like, hey, look, I want some of this work done or that work done. Um, and over time, you can grab you know, 5, 10, 20 of these guys. Designers, the same way. Um, they're incredibly easy to find. And if you just talk to them, they can usually point you out to... Um, more people that you can grab too. Uh, like for instance, um, uh, one of one of the guys that I outsource to a lot in um, India, he does a lot of website stuff for me. Um, I talked to him. I said, "Hey, um, could you actually find me some more good programmers there? Mm -hmm. You know, someone that actually speaks English, someone that uh, <laughs> does stuff well and doesn't charge, you know, an insane amount." And he's like, "Sure." So he puts up a free classified ad gets 20, 20 responses, weeds out a few for him, 
I pay him a small fee to actually to do that for me, and I'm up, you know, two, three, four more good programmers I can outsource to for a percent. Or even if you hire a guy from, let's say, rent a coder or some other site like that, you can say, hey, you know, you hire them for a $50 job and say, hey, do you have any other programs that you've started to work on but haven't done that I could market for you? A lot of them will say, sure. I have this been sitting here for five years, haven't done any, anything with it. You look at it, you say, okay, I like that, or I like it, but could you add these few things to it? You know, I'll cut you in on a third of it. A lot of them be, sure, yeah. I mean, I have products that I'll be marketing in the next month that I didn't even think of. I just saw, you know, they were basically out there, contact the guy, be like, hey, can I have exclusive rights to that, market it for you, and give, give you a cut of the profits? M you know, more than, I'd say, three-fourths of the time, they'll say, sure, yeah, I'd love to, because their stuff's just sitting there, not making any money. They're programmers. They don't know how to market that stuff. It's a great whereas, idea. Whereas we do, so it's a good, good combo. Awesome. So, it sounds like you find a lot of them online. Uh, and you're um, using like a classified ad system? That's, I mean, yes and no. I, I find some online. I do online classifieds. Um, I do, I go to um, university websites and see if I can post classified ads there. Okay. Um, That'd be for the local people? Yeah, well, not just local people, but more of the lower end ones too, because you get a lot of college programmers that you know, probably can't do the top notch jobs, but can easily do some of the simpler ones and you know they also they also ask for lower rates too, so you can save more. You, know, you can hire them for eight to ten bucks an hour if you want, or give them a flat fee of like a ten, fifteen percent cut. And most of them are more than happy with that. Um, I also do offline ad advertising now and then. Um, newspaper classifieds work. I mean, uh, local ones that get you know maybe have a reader base of two to three million people. You can take out an ad for I think it's like twenty five bucks or so. 30 or so tops, and you can hear back from dozens of, of people. I mean, at any given time, I could put a classified ad up online or offline, and within 24 hours, I guarantee you I'd hear back from at least 20 people. Of those, of those, I mean, sure, only four might be good, but the point is, finding four pr good programmers overnight is incredibly powerful. Definitely. So, how, like, what's your ad look like to get these people? basically straightforward. I, I just say I'm looking for other programmers or writers or whoever I, I want and I say that you know they can work at home, um, they can either take a hourly rate or a percent, everyone takes a percent anyway because um, they tend to like being a part of it. I think there's only maybe one guy who wanted the hourly rate um, which worked out good because it's always less than what the percent is if mm -hmm. you actually marked it right. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, you don't you don't have to be any you don't have to be fancy. You don't have to have any fancy graphics out there. You don't have to have, um, you know, any fancy company names. Just say I'm a marketer looking at extra programmers. You know, our hourly rate is this, or or you can take this cut. Um, work whenever you want on whatever projects you, you want on on your own time. It's incredibly powerful because um, you know who wouldn't want to, to work whenever they feel like it make the, the extra money whenever they, they want to without being rushed on projects or without saying, you know, you have to get this done in one week period. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's very appealing to them. And I, I've always gotten more guys than I can even use. That's great. There's always a lot of people at the events that could use that service if you would yeah, I've, put I've, them up with that. Yeah, I mean, I, I always talk to other marketers. A lot of them have troubles finding good programmers and such. Um, I've teamed up with a lot of people where I don't actually do anything. I just outsource their, their work to a programmer of mine, get them to, to do the project that they, that they want, and all of a sudden, you know, the guy who originally had the, the project he will maybe walk away with a third, even though it's his own, you know, his own thing. I'll walk away with a cut, and the programmer will walk away with the cut. So it's an easy way to get joint ventures, because Everyone needs a programmer if they're doing software or scripts and stuff. Yep. And if you have access to them, all of a sudden you have people knocking at, at your front door. I'd say each week now I'd probably get two or three guys that say, Hey, Brian, I need this. I can't find a good guy. Would you want to team up on this project or, or that project? It's an incredibly powerful way to make more money, get more projects done, and create relationships too. Sounds like it, yeah.
be great. So how do you weed out these people? Usually what I do is, well, you can sometimes tell right off the bat, the second you, you hear back from them, they'll say, you know, I do this or that, but I don't know any of this other stuff. And those, you know, tend to stay far away from because um, it's not really worth my time. And, I mean, I've had some, some of my best programmers um, can get something done in 15 minutes that might make, take someone else 10 hours. Mm -hmm. um, and again, it's not really worth my time or their time if they can't get something that I think is relatively simple done within, you know, a, a decent uh, amount of time. But what I usually do, I initially narrow it down to maybe half the people that contact me. I make a list and say these half look like they might know what they're talking about. Um, then I'll give them a small project that they, they can do and I'll, I'll either pay them a flat fee or uh, give them a percent on it. And it, it'll, it'll be a simple project that will take anywhere from one hour to couple hours or so. Um, something I can sell, make some money off of, but nothing ground groundbreaking or anything. Kind of like the JSH HTML project. Yep. That's a simple project. That was meant to actually weed out someone and it ended up making probably close to ten thousand dollars in the first one to two months or so. Do you um, get like the same project to a bunch of people when you weed them out? No, or? I I usually have enough where I can give each person their own project. Sometimes I'll present a project to two or three people knowing that only one might know how, how to actually do it. And then if they do good work, I'll keep them on, try to give them more harder projects and so forth. And from there, you know, I, I can judge which programmers know what. I'm um, like right now, again, I have two or three that, that can do basically anything. Mm -hmm. um, stuff that some marketers say is impossible to actually do, I can have these guys do it. Because nice. again, these guys, I have one guy who makes around, or he used to make around 100000 each month at a previous job. Um, there's a, another guy, he, he's a programmer, he teaches rocket science on, on the side. So these guys know what, what, what they're doing, they know how, how to handle it. I can give them projects that most people can never even dream of actually doing. Wow. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, I always have smaller projects that I can throw off to the, the smaller guys who are capable of doing that stuff. Um, and people sometimes complain about how they can't find a good programmer for this or that. I say it doesn't really matter. As long as they can program something, you can find something for them to, to do that can make you money. Again, the JS to HTML project, simple concept, took 20 minutes of his time and made a lot of money. Mm -hmm. That was a simple, small project. Yep. Now, when, when you're looking at some of the fancier projects, you're talking several times that. Granted, it'll take more work. You're, you're talking you know, a lot of money there on complete autopilot because you're not really doing anything. You're, you're basically managing a bunch of people. Nice. I guess, is there anything you want to add on uh, those person? Uh, none that I can really think of. I have a few websites. Sure, why don't you check those out? Um, well, I have a guide on outsourcing. It's at www.imdomination, and that's I for internet, and for marketing, domination.com. That's just a guide on how, how I outsource, how I do it on a little to no budget. Because um, I started out with basically not spending hardly any money at all, or basically nothing. And I went from making quite a bit. I mean, I work full time. Um, I don't, well, I actually, I make more than full time income, but I don't actually work full time. I work whenever I feel like it, because I basically manage these, these people on this stuff. Um, I spend my time creating new concepts instead of sitting down and programming or writing out all this stuff, designing. I'm, I'm not really good at you know, creating a website, so I do all that stuff at little to no cost. I um, also have tricks how, how to find these guys, how to weed, weed them out, um, all sorts of stuff, but how, you know, you, again, you can easily have 10 to 15 projects going on at once on complete autopilot um, without any money down. Um, I also put to, to together at a, another site a bunch of my personal programmers, writers, copywriters, designers, and so forth at onestopim.com. Again, that's I for internet and for marketing. Um, so it's onestopim.com. And what that is, I basically have a team of at least people that work on joint projects. Mm -hmm. So um, my popular package there is I basically have a customized book written for you, an uh, online book on any topic of, of, of your choice. I have the writer research it, write it up for you. I have the designer write a customized or um, 
design a customized graphic cover for it, um, design a customized website for it, um, have a copywriter write the entire sales page for you, designer puts that all up, makes it look pretty, and you walk away with an entire package at probably one-tenth the price that you'd pay just for like a copywriter alone to actually get something to, together like that. And it's, you know, it's, that's all possible because I do outsource really well. I find ways where I can find people that either work on percents or for lower fees but still have quality work. And I basically, for, for that site, I put a lot of my outsourcing skills together to manage these groups of people to make each person their own products and sites all in one big package. That sounds awesome. It sounds like basically they buy that and they can just get started right away. Yeah, in fact, I even have a membership option on that where each month they, they can have a new product, new website nice. out it's on a consistent basis. That's kind of how I have my business set up. Um, again, you know, I have people that pop out the stuff for me on a consistent basis. I don't really do a lot of the writing myself for some of the smaller guides. For, for, for the popular larger guides like Cuban Marketing Secrets and some other guides like that, I write those myself because I consider those you know, some larger main projects of mine. But for smaller guides, like I have one on uh, Second Life Marketing, um, direct mail marketing and so forth, I don't write that myself because I don't know a ton. Mm -hmm. well, I, I, or not nearly as much as the experts. So I hire writers to do that stuff for me. I hire or find experts out there that already know that stuff to write it for me. Um, so I mean, it's, it's really all, all about how, how you outsource, who you find, how you build relationships with them, and then basically put that on a consistent auto autopilot basis to plug out new projects each, each and every month. Wonderful. That sounds really powerful. I'll just get those links one last time so if everyone has them. Uh, the first one is www.imdomination.com, and that's the guide on outsourcing tricks. Um, the second site is onestopim.com, and again, that's one spelled out, um, O-N-E, and that's where you can basically get a package, whether it's a ebook made or a whole entire website made. You can get all the package in one deal. If you want, you can get a one-time deal on it or you can get it done on a monthly basis where I have the copywriters and everyone else lined up doing it all for you at one price. Nice. Well, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Fun.